uh, thought it was a really good environment tonight. You know, we were, I was proud of our players. We played two freshman guards. Our two leading scorers didn't play. And, uh, you know, and it was just it was a struggle. They got real veteran guards, and uh, we missed our two guards that can kind of help control the game. But I thought Abrams and Caldwell for freshmen battled. They're getting better and better and better. Uh, we got beat around the goal tonight and uh, couldn't guard in the post one-on-one. And uh, so hopefully we can get back. And uh, we got Kentucky on Tuesday and uh, get Morrell uh, healthy and maybe roughing back and, uh, and regroup again. So, but uh, good environment. And, uh, you know, the last of the Big 12 SEC Challenge is, uh, it is. Last year we beat K-State at home and obviously a good win for Oklahoma State. Uh, it's been a really good 10 years. I think the fans have really enjoyed it. Coach, uh, good. I was just going to say, Coach, what did you think that, um, you know, OSU presented as, as far as challenges for you guys uh, tonight? Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd love to have our two guys. You know, I, well, I, I think they've got real veteran guards. I do. And uh, I think those guys play together and, uh, you know, got great experience. And so uh, I thought their pressure bothered us, you know, and like I said, we just couldn't, we couldn't control them around the goal. You know, their four-man who hadn't really done that powerful stuff around the goal was strong, finished some balls around the rim. And uh, he and their, their five-man Boone, I thought, played really well tonight. Coach, it looked like in transition you were able to knock down some threes, get some good looks. But what changed about OSU's half-court set in attacking there? You know, they, they do a lot of switching. And, uh, and their bigs, you know, our bigs are struggling scoring around the goal. We couldn't really take advantage of, of our bigs against their perimeter. We, we, we did we do some fist switching and their guards drove by our bigs you know we fouled them when we were double teaming the ball screen it got better uh, they got good length like I said got great experience you know there are some guys have been here you know and played together and uh, you know I mean it just shows you how hard college basketball is they got a veteran team and fighting for their life in the big 12 you know what does that say about the big 12 from the outside looking in it's a good league just like our league it's a good league you know I mean it's just college basketball. You go on the road and tough environments. There were some great games earlier today. I don't know how the games ended up tonight, but, you know, Arkansas, Baylor, and Auburn at West Virginia, just good college basketball teams uh, going at each other. And uh, the Big 12 has been a great league for a long, long time. will continue to be one. Are you able to provide a reasoning for why Ruffin didn't play? Uh, no, he just, you know, Deshaun was a McDonald All-American, and he has he's had an unbelievable amount of injuries. And so it was just a coach's decision, but I think we love Deshaun, and uh, Deshaun is just going through some, some things that we thought it was better for him to be at home. We'll meet with him tomorrow, and uh, we love him dearly and uh, pulling for him. And uh, it's just, you know, coming back, you know, from a, a hard injury, and he's not the same, you know. And uh, so it's some things that I know we're going to work through. We'll keep loving on him and uh, hopefully get him back on the court soon. And my question, Coach.